This is Finnish Business Review and my name is Ari Aamo. Today my guest is Sab Hundel. Welcome. Thank you. At first, would you like to introduce you to us? Yeah, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. My name is Shab Hundel and I work in Yamk University of Applied Sciences as a senior lecturer in strategic management. Um, my main area of research is uh, corporate governance and corporate finance and which I have been doing for many years and I originally come from India but now for the last many years I've become very international because I studied and worked in several countries like I started with India uh, then Britain then there was a short stint in Singapore and then in Finland and uh, yeah yeah and that's why okay so you wrote the article economic value added agency cost and firm performance, theoretical insights and methodological issues through the value-based management framework. Could you tell us about more? What is the yeah. value-based framework all about? Yes, actually um, the, the idea of this paper is, has come out of a crisis. And the crisis is that uh, there are serious flaws in the accounting and financial information that we get from the company reports. And not only that, there are several decisions made by investors and the firms by themselves based on this accounting data. For instance, if they have to go for any merger or acquisition or they want to link uh, executive reward with, uh, with some performance, they, they often use these uh, accounting and financial measures. However, they are not showing any comprehensive or the objective picture about the firm. So that's a crisis. And that's what attracted me to go for a, a new uh, approach, which is value-based management, which tells that, that you have to go beyond the accounting data and look at the economic realities, uh, what is happening in the firm. And that, uh, that is not only based on the accounting information, but at the same time, a lot of non-financial uh, parameters are in included if you have to really assess the value-based uh, management of the company. But the problem is the popularity. The investors, they still believe a lot on accounting data. They, they base their decisions to invest or not to invest based on the accounting information. So I had a crisis that not only I want to study the value-based framework, but at the same time, I need to choose that value-based framework which still quite significantly relies on accounting data. So that is why uh, within the value-based framework, which shows a very larger picture of the firm, I chose to have the economic value added, which, which is still, as I said before, uh, quite heavily reliant on accounting information. But it shows a much comprehensive and much objective picture. Yeah. What are the key results you found in your study? Several. <laughs> First of all, this is a review of literature based paper. It's not an empirical paper. So I had to study a vast amount of, uh, you know, the regulatory um, literature, em empirical literature and the theoretical uh, models as well. Uh, my key findings based on this paper is that the value based framework in general and economic value added in particular can bring a lot of changes in the managerial attitude. The first change is that they start behaving like the entrepreneurs, not as the employees, because they know that they have to think about the very long term. You know, So when they think in the long term perspective as against short term, then they start thinking like an entrepreneur. So there is a change, there is an attitudinal change in the managerial you know, kind of activities. That's one change. The second change is that, uh, which is a finding, is that this concept have brought economic realities in the forefront. Now, they don't consider, they means these uh, managers, they, they don't consider that the equity is free of cost. No, it's a reality. If you look at the traditional uh, accounting measures, they, they, they treat that uh, equity is free of cost, whereas the economic reality is that the equity has a cost as well as the debt has. So this has brought uh, the whole change in the way of thinking of managers. That's a one very big 
development uh, which I noticed in this study. And also, uh, because the managerial reward is based on the firm performance. So, if you include equity as a cost, then your performance bar increases. It means those firms which follow the economic value added or the VBM, this value-based management framework. For those companies, the bar of performance is much higher than the others. Therefore, that would be a good measure for linking the executive pay with that. And as I wrote in the paper that the further studies can be carried out which actually associate, which try to explore the linkage uh, between the economic value added and the executive framework. You know, so, this could be a good. Okay, uh, thank you, Shab, for joining for us today. And uh, these and other articles are available on our webpage www.fbr.fi. Check and like our Facebook page and also join our LinkedIn group for further discussion. Thank you. Thank you very much.